This is breaking news. Happening right now, the New York Mets are unveiling a 10-foot statue of legendary pitcher Thomas Seaver at Citi Field. Let's go to that now. Of the early Mets, and in just his third big league season, led the team to its first world championship, winning the first of his three Cy Young Awards. Now, truthfully, they could have built a statue for him right then and there, and it would have been fitting. But it's finally happened. And that job went to a gentleman by the name of William Behrens, who designed and sculpted a Willie Mays statue outside Oracle Park in San Francisco. Now, that statue is a destination point, just as this one will be here at City Field. The dramatic artwork that we're about to unveil weighs about 3,200 pounds, which is not nearly as heavy as our hearts today. Because of the fact that Tom can't be with us to see this everlasting tribute. And you'll notice, by the way, I refuse to speak of Tom Seaver in the past tense. I'm sure we all feel his presence right here, right now. And even though Tom performed his artistry just a few feet from here, I'm telling you, there's not a day that I walk into City Field when I don't think about what Tom Seaver meant to me as an adolescent fan, an eventual colleague, an occasional on-air broadcast partner, and most importantly, as a man that I was proud to call a friend. Nancy, Sarah, Annie, we're so honored to have you here today. Please know that you are Mets royalty. The Seaver name is linked to the New York Mets and to all of New York in perpetuity. And thanks to this fabulous sculpture, every fan entering City Field will see the powerful image of number 41, our Hall of Famer, in mid-delivery, dirt famously caked on his right knee, depicting for the ages everything that came to define the New York Mets. And for those too young to remember, the statue will no doubt inspire them to read up and learn about the man to whom we pay tribute today, as well as forever, the greatest Met of all, Tom Seaver. Now there's another lifelong Mets fan who grew up a big fan of Tom's, who also hangs around this ballpark a lot. So I'd like to introduce him right now. He's the owner of the New York Mets, Mr. Steve Cohen. Good morning. Thanks for being here today. I mean, this is a tremendous day for baseball and a terrific day for the New York Mets and our fans. In a little bit, we are going to honor the great Jackie Robinson before the game. Today is the 75th anniversary of Jackie breaking the color barrier in baseball. But first, I'm really excited that we get to unveil Tom Seaver's statue. I want to thank Tom's wife, Nancy, for being with us today. And I'd like to welcome Sarah Seaver Zasky, Ann Seaver, and the rest of the family. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Mets fans are diehards who really know their Mets history. But here's a story about Tom that only the most diehard Mets fans would remember. Do you know that Tom Seaver almost wasn't a Met? Do you believe that? In 1966, there was a lottery for his rights. Three teams had a shot at Tom. 
the Phillies. Cle <laughs> a lively bunch out there. Um, Cleveland and the Mets. Thank goodness we won that lottery. <laughs> When I was a kid and I thought of the Mets, I thought of Tom Seaver. I can still see the windup, his knee dragging in the dirt, the ball exploding out of his hand, and the stunned look on the face of each batter he struck out. Tom led us to our first championship. He transformed the Mets, transfixed New York, and won the hearts of Mets fans. Tom Seaver was a great pitcher, an even greater man. He was poised and intelligent, and he represented our team as a, as a proud Marine with dignity, excellence, and honor. Today, I want to thank the Wilpon and Katz families for setting this tribute in motion. In a few moments, we will join MLB on the field to honor Jackie Robinson for one of the most important achievements in baseball and American history. I'm honored to be a part of that, and I know you are too. But let me first close with one more story about Tom. Pitching is what makes me happy, Seaver told a writer. I've devoted my life to it. I live my life around the four days between starts. It determines what I eat, when I go to bed, what I do when I'm awake. That means I have to remind myself to pet dogs with my left hand or throw logs on the fire with my left hand, then I do that too. If it means in the winter I eat cottage cheese instead of cookies, then I eat cottage cheese. I might want those cookies, but I won't ever eat them. That devotion, that determination, that drive made for endless days and nights when Tom Seaver's pitching made Mets fans happy. And we are all grateful. Thank goodness we won that lottery in 1966. Nancy, Sarah, Ann, thank you for sharing Tom with us. Mets fans, every time you walk past Tom's statue, remember all those days and nights that Tom Seaver brought joy to you and to New York. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. You know, Tom was my idol, but I drew the line at cottage cheese. That was not happening. <laughs> Sorry. Tom's office, really his studio, was right across the parking lot there in the borough of Queens. And Tom made this borough awfully proud for an awfully long time. So let me introduce to you right now the, the current Queens Borough President, Mr. Donovan Richards. Is Queens in the house? Yeah. Are there any Mets fans in the house? Yeah. Oh, I don't hear y'all. Are there any Mets fans in the house? Yeah. What a joyous day to be here. And first, I could not stand here without paying homage to my hero, Jackie Robinson, as the first black man elected to ball president in Queens. I'm Queensboro President Donovan Richards, and I couldn't be happier to be here at City Field for two different reasons today. First, we're finally going to have a Mets game to watch in a few hours. And there's nothing like opening day at City Field. Second, we're going to honor a man who actually holds the Mets record for opening day starts with 11 and he never lost a single one of them. Yeah. 
Tom Seaver was truly one of a kind, unquestionably one of the greatest to ever have played this game. And it is an honor of a lifetime to stand here with not only Steve Cohen and Mike Piazza. Let's give it up for Mike Piazza. But with Tom's wonderful wife, Nancy, and their daughters, Sarah and Ann. Let's give it up for them. To pay tribute to such a legendary man. It's been four decades since Tom last stepped on a major league mound. He still holds a special place deep in the hearts of everyone who calls Queens home. That's because the year, 1969, is still ingrained in the minds of every Mets fan in New York City and beyond. If you weren't alive for that amazing run to our first World Series title, you've heard stories from your parents and grandparents about it like I have. And every single one of those stories starts with the same two words, Tom Seaver. In 1967, we were introduced to Tom as he won 16 games and took home Rookie of the Year. But in 1969, let's be clear, Tom really showed us the true champion he was as both a player and a person. On the mound, he was untouchable, winning a league-high 25 games to just seven losses and pitching to a 2.21 ERA en route to winning his first of three Cy Young Awards with the Mets. Let, let's give him a round of applause. Y'all could do better. But he saved his best game for last. With the Mets leading the Orioles two games to one, Tom took to the ball in game four of the World Series and threw a gem. Ten innings pitched, just one run allowed, the biggest win of his life. Do y'all remember that? One day later, Seaver and our Mets were World Series champions. And he did it all with that terrific smile and impeccable leadership. That World Series win was and still is an incredible source of pride in Queens. No one thought those lovable losers would ever reach the top, but Tom proved them wrong. The World Series win put Queens on the map and showed the world that great things can and do happen here in the best borough in New York City, Queens. No longer will Queens ever be overlooked or ignored again, and we have Tom to thank for helping break that narrative. So Queens owes Tom Seaver a huge debt of gratitude for all he did to bring pride to our borough. And that pride remains deeply felt in Queens, even by those, myself included, who are too young to have ever had the chance to see Tom pitch. This larger-than-life statue is one way we can repay that debt and help keep Tom's legacy alive for future generations of Queens residents to admire and learn from. From this day forward, anyone who passes this statue will be reminded of Tom's greatness both on and off the field. And as they pass by and admire the statue, they hopefully will be inspired by Tom's example of how to live a blessed and happy life. You live such a life by first finding something you are passionate about doing and then by working as hard as you can to improve your craft. For Tom, that thing was pitching, a skill he devoted himself to perfecting and mastering. He owes, he's one of two pitchers ever to have reached 300 wins, 3,000 strikeouts, and a career ER, ERA under three. And with that being said, it is an honor to once again pay homage to Tom Seaver. Let's go Mets! Thank you.
Okay, thank you. It, it's only fitting that our next speaker is someone really, really special. Relax. You're going to like it, trust me. You may not think of him necessarily as the guy who hit the first home run in the history of City Field, but he really did. I know you think it was David Wright, but way back around 1998, the Mets were playing the Yankees at Shea Stadium, and our next guest hit a home run way beyond the left field bullpen, way beyond a tenth that was out there, right where the lower left field stands are right now in City Field. So let me bring up another Hall of Famer, number 31, Mike Piazza. Let's go Mets! Let's go Mets! Thanks guys, love you. What a, what a glorious day. Let's go Mets! Thank you guys. Thank you. It's been said that humility is royalty without the crown. That's why Tom Seaver is our royalty. A humble warrior, Tom brought many things to all of us, but I think the biggest thing he brought to us was faith. Faith in this team, faith in this organization, and faith in all of you, the fans. And that's why we love him, and that's why we'll always cherish him. And this statue is a beautiful tribute and a memory that we will always hold special in our hearts. So God bless. My first personal experience with Tom Seaver is when I was a kid, about eight years old. My dad came home from work very quickly, and I grew up <clears throat> in Philadelphia. Don't say. <laughs> and I remember him arguing with my mom, and my mom saying, Honey, he's got school tomorrow, he can't go. And my father saying, But Tom Terrific is pitching against the Phillies. We're going. So he was a player that transcended New York. He was a player that transcended baseball. He was a player that was an icon to all and many fans, not just here in New York, but across, across baseball in general. So that's something I'll always cherish as a kid. A quick story about Tom is if you don't recall, remember we had the last pitch at Shea and he's always been very gracious to me that the pitch was a little low. I picked it, right? And so for the first pitch here at City Field, he said to me a few minutes, he's like, Mike, come here. I'm like, what? He goes, let's go to the bullpen. I got to warm up. And that showed at his advanced stage, that even though he was retired, how much determination and perfection he demanded of himself. So for that, I'll always be, be precious, a precious memory to me. In closing, I want to say, Nancy, Tom will always be the greatest Met ever, period. always and all of us are happy to stand behind him so god bless our prayers are with tom we know he's here today and let's have a great year and let's go mets okay the time is just about upon us so Right now, I'd like to call the Seaver family to the podium. Nancy, Sarah, Annie.
got my glasses, I've got my tissues, which I'll probably need. <laughs> <laughs> Did you order all this wind on this beautiful sunny day? Well, hello Tom. It's so nice to have you here where you belong. I need to express my gratitude to the Met organization for having this very special tribute for Tom. Tom. I would like to fa thank especially old, old friends, dear friends, met friends, Lorraine Hamilton and Jay Horowitz for being here. Jay's over here to the left, Mom. Jay, there he is. Okay, there you are. Uh, and they always took special care with th all things Seaver. <laughs> and thank you for taking care of the family and dear friends that are like family, uh, especially for this tribute. We really appreciate it. It's been wonderful. <sighs> when Tom would leave home to come to New York to work after we'd moved to California. Don't boo. <laughs> I always knew he was in good hands with uh, his sweet Lorraine. Who's Lorraine? Yeah, I see her. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'd also like to thank our strong Seaver team and our family and friends. Oh, I already said that. <laughs> who have always shown up in support for Tom's milestones. Uh, you were always there for him. He always felt loved and supported by the family. And now there are more of us, and um, I couldn't be more proud. I love you all. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd also like to thank especially my brother Mike, who uh, got off work and flew here with me and has been my wingman for this trip. I couldn't have done it without him. Without him, I couldn't have. I do have to thank does anybody have any hairspray? <laughs> Jeez, I mean, really, people. <sighs> we have a very special friend in New York. He couldn't be here today. Um, his name is Matthew Marola. And we came to New York as 22-year-old kids, um, you know, so unfamiliar with playing baseball and being in New York and playing in New York. But shortly after we arrived here, we felt embraced by the fans, by the public, uh, and that made us feel right at home very quickly. So um, I wanted to give a shout out to Matthew and um, He's now a very good friend to our children and our grandchildren. Of course, I can't mention the fans enough. Uh, thank you all for showing up here today. It's so good to see you again and all the med hats. And uh, yeah, you're always so enthusiastic and supportive uh, to the Seaver family, and I really appreciate that. Well, yeah, we love you. Uh, 
I am so excited to see this tribute, this statue. Um, it was done by a wonderful artist. Uh, he'll be talked about again. And, um, but I think I need to go sit down now. <laughs> so, so if you will excuse me, um, I need to leave. <laughs> Bless you all. Thank you for having us. Thank you. I know we have some Tom Seaver fans here, but who here is a Nancy Seaver fan? Are the daughters. I'm Sarah. I'm Anne. Thank you for having us. Um, well, our family. Uh, we've been tasked with um, giving a big thank you to our to the artist, the sculptor, who is now a good friend, who is over on the other side of this. William Barons. Let's have it. Why don't you stand up and give a little twirl? Can I stand here so I can see him? Sure. Thank you. Um, you become a dear. You, oops. You become a dear friend, and the care that you gave put, going into this project, taking very good care of Dad, really meant the world of us. Thank you. We love you, and Charlotte, his lovely wife, who's become a very good friend. I, I want to tell you a story, William. I was here yesterday to. Uh, to kind of see the, see the scene and what was going to happen and do a little walkthrough. And the care and the love that the crew behind the scenes have put into this project was breathtaking. Everybody was referring to the, the statue as Tom, as <laughs> Dad. He, oh, it's going to be down where, you're, where Dad is. Or, oh, yes, he's over there. And I think that's a... I, I hope you're honored by that because isn't that the point? The point is that dad will be here every day, forever, to greet people as they come in to this beautiful ballpark to watch baseball. Anything? Um, I also want to say thanks to our family. We have a bunch of Seavers here. They're noisy, they're loving, they're wonderful. Thank you, family, for being here. Thanks, the fans. I just want to say thank you for all the support we've gotten from the fans and all the love. And I know Dad would be so honored. Yep. So I'm so excited to see this thing. Yep. Let's, let's, let's see let's it. Let's do it. OK. Thanks for being here, everyone. Okay, Nancy, Sarah, Anne, goodness knows you've waited long enough for this. So here goes. Finally, we unveil the Tom Seaver statue.
sense that there have been many breaths that were just taken away because this is every bit as awesome and auspicious as we expected. An everlasting tribute to the greatest men of them all, Tom Seaver. It's opening day. Thank you all for coming, particularly Nancy, Nancy Sarah, and Ann Seaver, and enjoy the 2022 season. Let's make it special.